Hello, everyone. I am Ezekiel Bruni, general nerd and tech writer, and I'm here on, today on behalf of VPN Mentor to talk about my nerd and sci-fi obsessions. Sort of. I'm actually here to talk about how to access HBO Max and the shows and movies you want to watch on it from anywhere in the world. Uh, before I get into that, if you do find this video useful and helpful, please like and subscribe and, uh, you know, click the bell notification icon, leave a comment. We will also have some useful, helpful links in the description down below, so do check that out. All right, so let's get to it. You have gone abroad, say to Mexico or someplace more exotic where the copyright law gets weird. And you've decided, you know, you uh, load up HBO Max and you think, hey, I'd like to keep watching Dune. It's a long movie. I didn't finish it before the flight. Oh, well. And one of two things happens. Either you can't access HBO Max at all, which can happen in some countries, or you look up Dune and you see here, well, that's, uh, it's not there. All I see is the trailer. Well, that's because HBO Max does not have the rights to distribute Dune in every country yet because copyright stuff. You know, different countries get uh, different content later or sometimes not at all. And HBO Max knows exactly where you are. How? Through your IP address. Your IP address is basically an identifier that every computer gets. It basically tells every website you connect to where you are because every country has their own set of IP addresses. For example, I'm in Mexico, so I only get access to the Mexico-specific content available on HBO Max. Now, what I need to do is I need to trick HBO Max into thinking that I have an American IP address. And that's where a VPN comes in. A VPN is, or virtual private network, is a service that actually encrypts all of your tra internet traffic, all of your data going to and from the internet and uh, allowing you a measure of anonymity and protection, uh, security. Uh, if you use a VPN, your internet service provider and your network administrator cannot see exactly what you're doing and all the websites you're visiting. But more important to today's topic is the fact that you can use a VPN to route your signal from your computer to a server in another country. For example, an American server where Dune would be available. Now, for this purpose, we highly recommend ExpressVPN. Why? Well, it's actually the best VPN we have found for streaming video. It's built on technology specifically designed to make streaming video from services like Netflix and HBO Max fast and efficient. So that's one of the big reasons we like it. Lots of other reasons, but that's one of the big ones. And if you get a VPN that lets you access HBO Max, but you, know, you don't actually get the speed you need to uh, stream high definition video, What's the point? So now I'm going to show you how to install ExpressVPN and get HBO Max working just fine. Now I'm just going to get my camera out of the way so I can show you exactly how to set up and install and use ExpressVPN. It's quite simple, so uh, you should be able to follow along pretty easily. Obviously, you'll need to click the big green button first. Choose your payment plan. Enter your email address, and then choose your preferred payment method. There are lots to choose from. And that's about it. Later on in the process, you will need to set up a username and password, but I won't be taking you through that part of the process because, well, I enjoy my privacy too. So I'm just going to skip ahead. Once you're logged in, you should see a button to download ExpressVPN on whatever platform you're currently using. Now, I am on Windows, obviously, so I'm just going to download it for Windows. And just save that. Uh, now, these blurred out bits are activation codes. You do sort of need those to uh, install and set up ExpressVPN. Again, I'm not showing you know the activation codes for obvious reasons because they belong to me. But you, so your you know activation code will be different. Uh, to install, you just hit that button right there. Let's minimize this in the meantime. Wait for the installer. When you want to sign in, just click that button. Allow the program to make a few more changes to your computer. And then you'll need to copy and paste that activation code I didn't show you earlier. I'm just going to do that and skip ahead a little bit. 
Now, once you have logged in, it will ask you if you want to start the application every time Windows loads or, you know, or Mac OS or whatever you're using. I do want that, so I'll just click OK. I don't want to send in data, so I don't have to. It will automatically choose the closest server for you. You should note, by the way, that you can choose servers from all over the world. You just go through here, look for a country. These are the recommended locations, of course. But you can look through all the whole world and all the over 3,000 servers. Okay, so now you have got an ExpressVPN installed. And depending on the streaming service you're working with, you might have to try a few different servers. I am using the Los Angeles server right now to connect to the USA. And let's just drop that down. Refresh the page. It takes a second sometimes. And if everything goes right, I can access the actual Dune movie. And let's just show you that at work. It takes a second to load the video sometimes. And there we go. The movie is working. I, I, I had to shut it off quickly because copyright stuff. So that's about it, really. If you want more information on ExpressVPN and why we think it's the best VPN available for streaming and such, there is a full review linked down below in the description. And if you want to get a discount on your first year or so of ExpressVPN or any of a number of other big VPNs, you should also check out our coupon page, again, linked down below. And you really should check out the review because it'll have all of our tests, everything we've done to see exactly how ExpressVPN performs, all of the different uh, sites and streaming services it, it can unlock, all of that good stuff to keep you entertained while you're traveling. All right, now, again, if you found this video useful and helpful and such, please do like, subscribe, hit the notification bell icon, leave a comment, all that good stuff. I had a good time making this video. I hope you had a good time watching it. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out.